What is yoga in the true sense? Yoga is not only about physical postures or the asana. Yoga is the union of the soul with the divine. Patanjali Yoga Sutra, a treatise on the Indian yoga philosophy, is a collection of 195 aphorisms. In the second aphorism of the chapter, Vibhutipad, Sage Patanjali says, Cessation of the tendencies of the mind is yoga. In Samadhi Pada, the first chapter of Patanjali Yoga Sutra, the sage has explained from aphorisms 24 to 29 that yoga, or union with the divine, can be attained only by chanting the divine name. What is in the universe is within, and what is within is in the universe. The divine power whom we seek outside actually resides within us. Gurudev Sri Ramlal Ji Siag introduces you to the one within you through Siddh Yoga. Meditation on Gurudev Siag's photograph induces automatic yogic movements. Why is a lifeless photograph of Gurudev Syag able to bring about such a phenomenon? Gurudev attained the Gayatri Siddhi in 1969 and the Krishna Siddhi in 1984. As a result of attaining these two Siddhis, yogic movements occur automatically when meditating on his image. There are two things that a seeker needs to practice. Chanting of the Sanjeevni Mantra. Meditate on Gurudev Syag's photo. This is the same Sanjeevni Mantra about which many years ago Maharshi Aurobindo said that it is a secret and mystic mantra and not yet revealed. On which part of the body should one meditate? Our sages have divided the human body into two parts. The first part consists of nine openings. They are the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, etc. These nine doors open towards the world. The second part consists of the tenth door. It is the Agya Chakra, the third eye. This eye opens within. One should meditate on the third eye spot. By chanting the Sanjeevni Mantra, the Kundalini, or the Divine Feminine Energy, gets awakened. The awakened Kundalini takes control of the body, life force, mind, and intellect of the practitioner and induces yogic movements during meditation. Yogic movements can be in the form of asan, mudra, band, pranayam, and many more. These automatic yogic movements free the seeker from all kinds of diseases. By this spiritual practice, a seeker is freed from addictions too. You don't have to quit alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs. Instead, these things will leave you on their own due to the end of demands from within by the change of tendencies. By chanting the Sanjeevni Mantra, a seeker experiences intoxicating joy and bliss. A seeker acquires intuitive knowledge and can see and hear unlimited past and future during the meditative state. Gurudev Syag's Siddha Yoga takes the seeker to the pinnacle of spiritual evolution leading to liberation.
The objective of Gurudev Syag Siddh Yog is the divine transformation of mankind. For Shaktipat initiation, listen to the Sanjeevni Mantra in the divine voice of Gurudev Syag. अब मैं आपको दीक्षा दूंगा तो आपकी कुंडलिनी जागृत हो जाएगी वो आपका शरीर प्राण मन और बुद्धि अपने कंट्रोल में कर लेंगे और ऑटोमेटिकली योग होगा आप चाहोगे तो नहीं होगा जिस अंग में कुछ गड़बड़ है उसको टोन अप करेगी कुंडलिनी स्टिमुलेट करेगी और जब तक वो ठीक नहीं हो जाए योग होता रहेगा निर्गुण निराकार और सगुण साकार दोनों शक्तियों का मुझे साक्षात्कार हो गया सिद्धि प्राप्त हो गई इस प्रकार दोनों सिद्धियां होने के कारण से मेरी तस्वीर से योग होना शुरू हो गया ये अचंबा आज तक नहीं हुआ तो इस प्रकार आपको केवल नाम जपना है और ध्यान करना है और मुझे यहां देखना है मंत्र एक ही गुरु का चलेगा और ध्यान मेरा करना पड़ेगा उसके बाद में आपकी छुट्टी अगर मुझ में कुछ गुंजाइश है तो काम अभी शुरू हो जाएगा मैं आपको अब आपसे खुद से इंट्रोडक्शन करूंगा आप क्या हो आप शरीर नहीं हो ये आत्मा है आत्मा अजर अमर है तो मंत्र है क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग तो इसको जपना है रावण दिख रोग तो किसी बीमारी से ग्रसित हो इससे ठीक हो जाओगे आप अच्छा अब ध्यान करो भाई पंद्रह मिनट यहां मुझे देखो और नाम जब चालू रखो कोई प्रकार की योग क्रिया हो तो घबराएगा नहीं पंद्रह मिनट ध्यान करो पंद्रह मिनट में अपना बंद हो जाएगी मन ही मन जपो और जीव नहीं रहना चाहिए क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग 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 मेथड ऑफ मेडिटेशन सिट कंफर्टेबली फेसिंग एनी डायरेक्शन एंड लुक एट गुरुदेव सियाग्स पिक्चर फॉर अ वाइल Then close your eyes and pray to Gurudev to help you meditate for 15 minutes. Now, while focusing on Gurudev Syag's image at the third eye spot, mentally chant the Sanjeevni mantra without moving the lips or tongue. If you experience any kind of yogic movements during meditation, let them happen. they cleanse the body from all kinds of afflictions and clear the pathway for spiritual progress try this and experience a whole new world jai guru dev jai guru dev to everyone and welcome to our uh, this session firstly we will uh, bow ourselves to our spiritual master rudev ramlal syag because of him we are conducting this session and and his grace is running through us for the and these sessions are being conducted for the benefit of the entire mankind as gurudev always says that no nation religion caste or race can have a monopolistic right over me in the from the line it can be in it, it can be drawn that the gurudev's yag siddh yoga is for the entire mankind for every uh, human being on this planet this yoga is there very simple method of practice is there uh, today in the session uh, we will discuss about the kundalini power kundalini power is a science is a science beyond science which the world has to know this uh, by following this uh, guru shyaksit yoga you you will come to know that there is a kundalini power 
which is residing in every uh, man every human body and the, actually in, if you are, if we go to the indian philosophy this human body or this entire universe is created by that kundalini power that is the science beyond the science or the science is created by that kundalini power this kundalini power is to be known uh, is to be explored by the scientific world uh, today's scientific world and uh, if you join our gurudev siyak siddhi yoga and the method of practice what is there in guru siyak siddhi yoga it is totally based on uh, kundalini powers awakening and how where gurudev clearly explained where this kundalini power resides in human body how it is awakened in the human body and what are the benefits of its awakening and where uh, after awakening how where we have to reach finally for our salvation and for our uh, spiritual attainments these are the uh, questions that we will take up in this session and we will discuss in the session about relating to awakening of kundalini power and its benefit um uh, firstly i had request mr pankaj guru bhai then muthurama swami guru bhai is also there uh, we will discuss in detail uh, the need of kund awakening of kundalini power and how it is awakened in our uh, gurudev siyak siddhi yoga and you will find the awakening of kundalini power here only in this guru siyak siddhi yoga pankaj ji guru bhai jai gurudev jai gurudev our uh, philosophical background of kashmiri savism says that human birth is not for uh, uh, merely uh, getting born then you know living happy life and then die that's not the objective of human life we call that uh, you know uh, the human body in human body a soul can attain its utmost uh, development the growth and that is equivalent to the goal in other words we call it as self realization and visualization of god or your soul whatever you call it we say in indian uh, vedic philosophy that there is only one exists the rest all are the forms of himself that means you and me we we seemingly look different people we seemingly look uh, you know with different names with different body but ultimately we both are part of the same uh, you know the god or super soul you can call it as so the objective of human body is to grow himself or herself to attain the highest level of development of any living being can attain for apart from human race the other living beings come for the uh you know spending their lives but for human they come for the highest level of the growth or development now next question is how to do that there is a very simple philosophy in kashmiri sahibism that every living creature has a kundalini power which is sleeping in dormant position at the end of the spinal cord we have three veins there ida pingla and shushumna she is sleeping inside the shushumna and in with making uh, like a snake she she makes three and half coils keeping her uh, tail in her mouth and in in sleeping position she res resides that we call as that the feminine power of the world the mother power of the world 
who has created the entire universe and many such universes. So that power exists in every living creature, but can get awakened only in human body. The other living beings are not for the development. They come just to spend or maybe uh, just to fulfill their uh, previous birth uh, deeds. Now, we understood that there is a female power in human body which can get awakened. If she get awakened, what happens then? A human body has seven chakras. The first chakra in, in that the Kundalini power resides named as Muladhar chakra. That is in the end of the spinal cord. And the foremost chakra, which is this one, is called as Sahasrar chakra. In between, there are five more chakras. When this is the father power or the, uh, you can say, God residing here and his wife that we call it mother power, the Kundalini power residing in the Muladhar Chakra. With the grace of a right guru, that is master, spiritual master, the Kundalini Shakti can be awakened and Guru controls the movement of that Kundalini power and make its upward journey to this Sahasrar Chakra. So, when this feminine power or mother power meets the Go or the Sahasrar Chakra, that is what we call as the self-realization and visualization of the Go. Until this mother power reaches to this Sahasrar Chakra, we think that, okay, someday I will be seeing the God. You know, uh, I, you know, the, the aspirants consider himself and the God as two bodies, different bodies. But when this Kundalini Shakti you know, meet uh, or the, you know, come to this level, then he realized that, okay, it was only me who has created the universe. So, the self will be replaced by the gold. You will submerge in the, the super supreme being. Now, this is a simple process. When we, uh, you know, uh, how, how the Guru will make the Kundalini Shakti movements, upward movements, he will give you a mantra to chant it. Once you chant the mantra, that is like a fuel to your car or fuel to the Kundalini power. The more fuel you put into that, the faster she will move upwards. In between, you will experience lot many uh, siddhis, uh, what we call as wisdom or the knowledge. Everything is there in the universe. It is just that we don't know the process, how to you utilize that knowledge. So, if, you know, for an example, if I'm not using my hand for 10 years. It may stop working, right? But other person who is using his both the hands properly, his hands will be having more strength. Same way, we are not uh, using the powers of soul and those are getting subsides. This process will let you know how to utilize those powers and how to use that knowledge. It is already there in you. Nothing will come from outside. 
everything is there with you. It is just that you don't know the way how to use those. In Kundalini Shakti, uh, when it will move upward, there are different, uh, you know, you can, for example, during the meditation in, in Siddhi Yoga, you can experience and you can visualize and see the future and the past of yourself as well as of your surroundings. You can travel to infinite distance without any time, uh, you know, without any lack of the time. Uh, in scientific language, you can call it as time traveling also. But not with this uh, body. You will travel with, with your soul. But you will be able to experience everything just like a body. Apart from that, you will listen a divine sound. Different divine sounds, I, was, I must say. The first one could be, you know, uh, birds tweeting. The others could be uh, like a uh, conch song. The final we call it as drum sound, that is home car, home sound. And in between, many musics, many, you know, different uh, instruments, voices or the sounds you will listen. Those will not come from outside anywhere. Those will be generated from your within. And you will listen it from within. You will experience, okay, my right eye, right ear today is whistling. Or my left ear is whistling. Or both the ears are whistling. Or maybe some other sound, not only whistling. You know, there are many, many more sounds which we people are experiencing in our day-to-day -day -day life. Whatever we, you know, I have explained you here, many of the Gurudev's disciples are experiencing the change in, changes in them. So, uh, in summary, in nutshell, I would say that a human must try for the salvation in his human birth. He should seek for a right master. And Gurudev Ramlal Siyad is the Samarth Guru. If you follow the process scientifically, you will start getting the results from day one. And you will experience all those things free of cost. There is no charge. You need not to meet anybody even. You can do it, practice it at your home, at your place, as and when you want, as long as you want. There is no harm if you stop it in between. It will just, you know, the benefits will get stopped. So it is a very simple process. I suggest and recommend and request the entire you know human race to come and testify it thank you yes yes jai gurudev pankaj guru bhai has rightly explained this one uh, the kundalini power uh, the kundalini power as we know uh, that it is uh, it is the feminine power it is residing at the base of spinal cord in every mankind every human body it is residing it can be awakened how it can be awakened, Pankaji Gurubhai and the wind uh, have rightly said, it can be awakened only through the uh, initiation or through the mantra given by an empowered spiritual master. That empowered spiritual master is our uh, Gurudev. You will not find any other Guru in this world uh, who is so generous to this world, who has opened the secret, the mystic Sanjeevni mantra if you listen that Sanjeevni mantra, that Kundalini power in every, which is residing in every uh, human body, it awakens. It gets awakened and it starts upward movement. 
uh, as we so we 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 have uh, we we have listened that the kingdom is uh, kingdom of god is within you the kingdom uh, the god is within us it is residing in the topmost crown uh, the sahasra chakra and you can reach to that sahasra chakra by uh, by chanting that divine mantra and that kundalini power when uh, by the chanting of that um, sanjivani mantra reaches to sahasra that is called the actual salvation or the uh, spiritual enlightenment or perfection that we search for and we find the bliss within us i'd request mr charles also to speak about kundalini power if he is audible hmm. please unmute yourself mr charles Uh, Mr. Mute. Charles, can you look into the camera? We are not able to see you properly. Just down your camera at least. Huh? Or just... Yeah, it is better now. Thank you for the video opportunity. Yes. <laughs> uh, your voice is not coming. Meanwhile, let us take Mutu Rama Swami Guru Bhai. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And welcome. Uh, Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. Mm. Uh, just now you mentioned about the sound. I could hear the buzzing sound like <sighs> once in a while. I could hear that. And. Um, and also, this is a little bit weird, but I would like to mention this. My tongue rolls out. Oh, wow. Wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Nice. I, I wasn't sure what was that because, you know, like, you know, a mother Kali. Yes. I'm, since you're a Bengali, I'm sure you know about it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That, that kind of thing. It rolls out. I wonder why... It, why was that? And then my eyes widened. And I was wondering, uh, was it like kind of a trance or something of that sort? And for the past two days, I could feel that at the Muladhara, I could feel some kind of like uh, energy. And um, just now Gurubai was saying about uh, the mother, mother Shakti, right? The mother power. And I could feel that. And then once I was in the, once I have, I already started in the session, it rose up. Uh, it was already between the heart and the sahasra, sahasrara. And then it went back to the muladhara. But my question is, but is it common or is it like, is it common for the tongue to roll out once in a while? It is uh, common to every disciple of Gurudev Sri Ram Lal Syag Siddha Yoga. It happens oh. to every disciple. As the it is, it is the uh, sign of Kundalini awakening. When Kundalini gets awakened, this type of uh, yogic movement in your body uh, automatically happens. You just mentioned the tongue rose up. In, in there are lacks of example of Gurudev uh, Sikh uh, Gurudev's disciples. Who experienced my in my case also the tongue gets uh, in some time tongue gets um, out and it comes uh, sometimes tongue gets are uh, stuck to upper side and from there uh, a liquid comes up that liquid is called elixir the amrit uh, and it has the uh, when we uh, experience it has also the um, qualities that can cure all your bodily ailments that is called amrit amrit in uh, if you read the holy scriptures there it is mentioned that there is a amrit huh? uh, amrit is there in your human body only uh, by that khechuri mudra you experience that elixir or the amrit and that you are in the uh, stage when uh, the your jeep continuously after practicing it will go up upside and stuck there and from there you will experience a liquid is flowing out oozing out a liquid that liquid is elixir that is called Amrit. Gagan Mandal Me Undha Kwa means in, there, in the head, there is an Amrit. There, there is an elixir. When that uh, liquid comes uh, out, uh, you uh, be sure that your salvation is 
destined you are 100% uh, uh, destined to reach to your salvation and okay. it has also the beneficial uh, for your uh, body also this yes. is not the manifestation of mother kali yeah, uh, no no mother mother, uh, mother kali mother durga all these powers are the, that feminine power and it is the actually the, the 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 things which are you are experiencing it is also the uh, actual the course of that feminine power when it uh, reaches upward journey you experience this type of movement it is common to uh, it is the common journey of that feminine power common oh, I, course of that femi uh, feminine power i request pankaj gurhai to explain also hmm. yeah jay gurudev guru bhai actually as uh, vicky ji guru bhai explained this is a posture with by which we we taste the divine liquid and uh, you know it is uh, called as the mother of all the postures so the greatest uh, posture you are going through and um, just enjoy it don't uh, you know we don't try to relate it to any deity or anything in the world because it's a unique uh, process everybody experiences different different things during the siddhi yoga okay and uh, uh, especially you know uh, this uh, kechari mudra is amazing uh, posture you, you know it's the divine liquid has the you know the highest level of immunity power and uh, these kind of experiences are very much common for uh, the chronic disease patients like aids cancer and all those because especially in the case case of aids the patient patient's immunity power you know drops drastically and for that he or she needs instant immunity booster for him or her this mudra or this posture is quite common and with this they you know their immunity gets liberated and they get start you know seeing the difference in their uh, strength and body so you know specifically i would like to request you that uh, forget everything whatever you have learned so far in your life just concentrate on siddhi yoga process of the siddhi yoga and philosophy of siddhi yoga we we should not try to relate you know the outcomes of siddhi yoga to our previous experiences because those those may not match and even if they matches you know that is use, useless that cannot make your kundalini power move a step ahead because the fuel is that is not the fuel for her the fuel is the mantra chanting the more you do the mantra chanting and the more intelligently or smartly you think to chant the mantra you know rather thinking on which which movement is relating to what and which uh, posture is relating to what or you know those useless things if you focus and work dedicatedly on chanting the mantra that single thing will work out because that single thing is the fuel for for this entire journey okay yeah okay jai gurudev jai gurudev actually the <laughs> the journey of kundalini power uh, you see the journey of river it starts from the mountain then comes to the foothills then comes to the plain and then finally uh, merges into the ocean yeah. uh, in the same way the uh, at the power, way of kundalini power the journey of kundalini of power is there where you experience different yogi postures and kechuri mudra is also one of the part of that uh, course our journey of kundalini power and also you are uh, hearing that buzzing sound in your uh, left ear or maybe right ear that is 
also a uh, part of that course where you experience the divine sounds that sounds is also helpful for that uh, upliftment of uh, kundalini power and anything else you want to share your experience muthurama swami these are no, you unique. mentioned yes so you yes, mentioned sir. but mudra uh, kechuri mudra oh, what which mudra is that the mudra kejari what's it what's it called kechuri kechuri mudra k h e kechuri mudra it's called uh, okay. queen of all mudra mudra means postures huh? queen of all mudras huh? in uh, in the past before the advent of gurudev uh, to uh, do this mudra uh, people used to the seeker used to uh, cut his uh, the lower part of the tongue and do some uh, uh, hard sips huh? to roll the uh, tongue upwards and then it gets oh. stuck then elixir will would come that you we have in the past many uh, seeker has to do these things they the hard sip but here the yoga is uh, done by the kundalini power that's why uh, uh, the uh, tongue gets rolled uh, automatically by the force of kundalini uh, power i here, would like to mention yes. that uh, what vicky ji is trying to explain is that in in previous time or even those days also many hat yogis <coughs> where you know there is no role of kundalini uh you know he is talking on those instances that they are trying different ways to attain this posture but they are not able to you know uh they try to pull the tongue you know That's stretch it physically and they even harm their own body but still this posture is really difficult to be attained in hatha yoga it is only the siddhi yoga that is our guru siyag siddhi yoga where it happens automatically and without any pain it 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 just happen naturally so you know uh, that's what he was trying to say and we usually do not uh, discuss all uh, outside the siddhi yoga but still he mentioned it so i explained it uh vicky ji guru bhai i think we are running short of time now so yes yes maybe we, we can will. conclude it and then yes we can keep the discussion going on yeah okay okay hmm. jai gurudev uh, let us conclude today's session we will meet again in the next session next sunday in the same time jai gurudev jai gurudev jai gurudev jai gurudev